Hey guys, it's Trevor Chevy, and welcome to another um, video. So I'm trying out a new game, another one. It's called Dark and Light, and you're currently watching it. So um, it's similar to the Citadel Forged with Fire game that I played a few days ago, but this one apparently is a lot better and um, more developed, I believe, than Citadel. And this one is currently in early access for 24 bucks. So if you want, you can go get on Steam. But first impressions, uh, by the way, this is going to be speeded up. Um, they said, my fr like my friends, they said it's made by the same creators as Ark. And by the way, I'm sorry if my mic lags. Apparently it's been lagging lately. So if it does, then I'm sorry. Um, so... A lot of as aspects are similar and basically this is an RPG game where you build and you tame things similar to Ark except it's not dinosaurs in this one um, but then there's also like magic and stuff um, to be honest I don't think there's like sim anything I've seen like uh, currently is nothing like too special um, but it's not like really trash and it made me want to quit within the first five minutes like Citadel so that's a good sign um, the graphics are pretty nice and it didn't seem very laggy at all for a early access game so that's cool and um, character customization is decent definitely way better than Citadel like I'm comparing it so hard right now but you know if you're deciding between like those two games and this one's definitely better from what I can see um so it's more like a survival type of game and I'm usually not into those but since I like Ark and like Minecraft survival um I'm fine with it it's just sometimes we I don't like it but yeah this one's pretty okay um I chose a male character because I thought he looked a lot better than the female character and I like the six pack, so yeah, that's why. Um, I just know there's a lot of magic involved in this game. And one thing I don't like a lot is that I like MMOs where you get to choose like a class. It's like warrior, assassin, you know, like all that stuff. And here you don't, you just have to like level up certain things and then you'll get through that. Um, hey, oh, sorry, I'm tired. It's 12.30 a.m. and I'm really tired and I, but I wanted to get out this video for you guys because yeah I'm dumb and I didn't record recently so yeah I've been uh, streaming a bit lately so be sure to tune into my streams if you have not already because yeah I like to interact with you viewers um I've been playing a lot of Minecraft but yeah so you can see the gameplay itself. I didn't really do anything interesting, uh, but I went to the house that they already made. Like I only started today, and they started like a few days ago. So, you know, and it's kind of cool. Um, like the house is a bit small, but you can get raided and stuff. And we're playing on a an unofficial server. So I think the people will be nicer than on official servers. So you know, that's that's a good thing. Anyways, my first impressions is it's all right. Like I'll I can play it, but I don't see myself like playing it um, constantly for a long time, from what I can see. Because yeah, it seems just similar to other games that I played. And I don't see anything that's very uh, extraordinary, you know? Um, I shout out to Devin though, because he bought it for me. I didn't buy it. Like, I'm literally saving the money for Destiny 2, because that game is going to be awesome. Not that I have any money right now, but I haven't bought a game since Titanfall 2, and that was pretty trash. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully Destiny 2 is not going to be trash. I already know it's going to be good. But yeah, I'm really excited. Anyways, I got really off topic here. But basically, 
Um, from what I can see, I'd rate it like 5 out of 10. Like, it's not bad, but it's not something that I would recommend right off the bat. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.